Iconic iOS developers, it's Prof G, and it's time to add an icon to your app. If you're new here, welcome. You might want to check out the course playlist to see how we got here. So now that you've built your app, you're likely to want to add your own icon before installing it on a device. If you press play and run your app in the simulator, you might have noticed that if you press the home button, the icon that shows up is this generic test pattern. This is what shows up if you haven't added any icon data to your app. But adding an icon has never been easier. Just head to the Assets Catalog, click on App Icon, and you'll see outline spaces for three icons that are 1024 by 1024 points. Any image you create to use as an icon has to be of those dimensions. Now there's a space for a default or any appearance icon, and you can create special variants if you'd prefer one for dark mode and one that can adapt to a custom tint. We're not going to worry about the other two for now, but if you're interested in designing for these other variants, especially for tinting, there are some great blog posts that you can find online. Now I've prepared an icon that you're welcome to use. You can find it in the Google Drive for our series at bit.ly slash prof-g-swiftui-files, all lowercase. Just right click on the UR Awesome folder and select download. You may have done this earlier when you downloaded the images of the sounds. And in this folder you'll see a file for our icon that's called urawesome-icon.png. And there's also a folder called launch screen images, which we'll use to add our launch screen. First, let's add the icon. So I'm going to click and drag on the icon. And while I continue to press down on the trackpad or mouse, I'm going to press command tab until I switch to Xcode. Then I'm just going to drop this icon into the first of the three squares. That's it. Icon added. Then I'll press play to launch the app in the simulator. It'll take a moment for your app to fully load, but then you can click on the home icon and look at that. Our icon is there. Nice. Now I am clearly not a graphic artist. There are many other excellent icon tool editors out there. If you've got a favorite one, feel free to leave a note in the comments. But if this procedure is useful, I thought that I would show some folks how I was able to put together this icon. I designed it in Keynote, which you can download for free from the App Store, and I drew the icon within a 1024 by 1024 rectangle. Now, even though I set the size, and you can see it over here on the right, for some reason, when I highlight the icon and I copy it to the clipboard, it's actually larger than 1024 by 1024. But this is an easy fix in Preview. That's another utility that should have come pre-installed on your Mac. You can open Preview in Spotlight with Command Space, then just type the word Preview preview and press return. I have my preview installed in the dock. Once you've launched preview, if you've copied your image to the clipboard, you can just press command N and that'll create a new preview image from the clipboard. Now if I go to the tools menu and select adjust size, I can see the size is not 1024 by 1024. And if I try to use an icon that's not that size, Xcode will display a warning, and at least in the current version of Xcode that I'm using as I record this tutorial, it will not resize to 1024 by 1024. But to fix this, just click off scale proportionally so that you can make sure that both sides are exactly 1024 and then enter 1024 by 1024 as your width and height. Make sure that you have pixels selected. I have resample image selected as well. Then click OK. The image resizes. Then you can just save this to your desktop, then get into your assets catalog, open up the app icon and drag the file you just saved into the app icon square. So congratulations, your app now has an icon. In the next lesson, we'll show you how to add a launch screen to your app, which is something that Apple requires when submitting an app to the App Store. Until then, keep hacking.